Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs. Uh, today I'm working on something a bit different. This is a commission piece that needs to be fully restored. Uh, so I'll flip it around and we'll start having a look. Alright, so let's have a look at this. I'm basically going to go over the whole piece. Um, I know that one of these feet falls out and I'm pretty sure one of them is loose so I'm going to uh, flip it onto its back on my workbench and glue those into place. Um, this strip is obviously missing but I have it behind me and should be an easy fix. Uh, the knobs are broken. They will all come off and I have reproductions on their way from Restoration Online. I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, all of the drawers have these locks. They all stick and don't work very well. Uh, so I'm going to dismantle all of these locks. I'll put them into separate bags and mark which drawer they go with so that they I make sure they all go back to where they came from. Uh, there's a strip missing from this drawer. I do not have that piece, but I have a whole pile of old random drawers from other pieces of furniture that were given to me. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that I might be lucky enough to be able to salvage a piece from one of those and that it will match up at least close enough to not be noticeable. Um, the whole surface has dents and scrapes and scratches all over it. The whole thing is going to get stripped and sanded back. I'm going to start with start by pulling all of the drawers out, taking the knobs off, dismantling the locks um, and then I'll go from there. Right. Always remember to mark where the where all of your pieces came from so that they can all go back where they came from. Um, putting them in different spots when you're reassembling doesn't always mean that they are going to fit. Alright, so this base part has come away from the body and I believe the screw has threaded, or not threaded, but it's not got anything to bite onto because it's pulled through. So I'm going to actually pull this entire piece off, which is actually good because it'll make it easier for me to stay over there, please. Um, it'll make it easier for me to get in and sand around these parts and easier to sand this part. So I'll do that and I'm going to clean under here whilst I'm down here because it'll be easier to do now.
using Silly's wood glue. I broke the lid on it so I have to keep taping it up. Let's see. Probably should have used a brush for this, but you know. You know? You know, you know? Cover all surfaces with glue. Um, having air pockets are pretty much like having weak points. Clamps would be awesome for this, but I don't have any clamps big enough for the job, so I'm using ratchet straps. to 120 by hand and then 120 up to 150 and then 150 up to 240 So I got replacement knobs from Restoration Online. Uh, they did, first thing I've done with them is sand this surface because it had a circular pattern on it from being made on the lathe. So I sanded those with the grain to get the circle pattern off and obviously doesn't match. Um, I got pine, I should have got a darker wood uh, but the part that I sanded on this was a lot lighter than the rest of it, so that didn't go too well. But what I'm doing is correcting the base colour before I put on the final stain that I've put on the body. So the way I'm doing that is to go over all of them with Feast Watson uh, water-based walnut stain. So 
that's it with the walnut and then this one here is with the walnut and then the carts and Millie stain so there we go So I've done all the little fiddly repairs I can and I've put it off for as long as I possibly can get away with um, but I need to replace this strip. I was hoping that I could salvage a piece from some old drawers but they are all far too light. So what I'm going to do is these parts are off the base and these sections here, so this part of it, will all be underneath and won't be seen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this one, which matches perfectly, and I'm going to cut a small strip off the back of it, and attach it here. Right, first thing I'm going to do is straighten this edge, the damaged edge, because it's got a bit of a bow to it. And rather than spending, you know, two or three hours trying to get the new piece to match up to this, I'm going to cut this edge straight. So that will cut a lot of time off of my work. result of the patch job I did on the strip that was missing on the drawer. I'm really happy with it. Um, like, it looks pretty good, but as you can see it's noticeably darker than the rest of it. So to try and fix that, I'm going to tape off that section. And I'm taking the walnut stain that I've used on the draw knobs to try and blend it in with the rest of the draw front. I've just watered it down and I'll keep layering it. The top of the drawer is a little bit darker than the lower section, so as the brush dries out, I'm kind of just blending it towards the top. Then I'll dry this and see how it goes.
My phone ran out of storage whilst I was recording the rest of this. Um, so here it is. It's a lot more noticeable on camera than it is in person. Um, so I'm happy with it as is. I could probably go a bit darker on there, but I'm cool with that. It'll look a lot better once it's all finished. I'm now sealing with Cartamelli top coat. Uh, this is a satin water based top coat. The stain that I use, stains that I use, the Cartamelli stains, have a matte top coat in them, built into them, but I want a satin finish on this. got everything clear coated and I've got the knobs on and now I am going through the whole piece with Cartamelli Boutique Furniture Hemp Oil. I'm putting it all along the runners and around the sides. These drawers were sticking really bad before I pulled them apart um, and I'm also putting it on the sides of the drawers and along here and pour a little bit on there don't know why I'm talking like this has a very subtle smell but I like it because it's not overpowering oh well, here is the finished product um, I would have filmed a lot more than I did but towards the end of it I was getting really bad arthritis and my wrists was, weren't working properly because of the cold and repetitive strain but um, I have filmed as much as I can for you um, a lot of the repairs I don't really know if they're going to work out until I'm doing them I am really happy with how this turned out I hope the owner is as well Especially that repair. Um, yeah. So if you enjoyed this and want to see more restorations like this or more detailed ones, let me know. Um, if you want any of the products used in this video, you can find the link in the description. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe or did I already mention that I don't know I'm tired bye guys